So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll keep it on the ground. Scott. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Waiting. Sunday, Sunday. Man, five, seven. Now Wentz on third down. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. An eagle first down. Wentz to Ertz from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. On the carry, this is Scott. A gain of three, second down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. General West! Watch the ship, watch the ship. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We've got double up, double up. This is Howard on second down. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. But well, now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production means they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. Again, it's Howard. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Here we go on fourth down with Wentz. And down. They bring down Wentz on the sack. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. Boy, sitting on a two-score lead at this stage in the game. That punter, he must be pretty lonely over there on the sideline, thinking, why in the world was my number not called there? As far as he's concerned, the check was still cash, right? It is your choice not to use me in this situation. But I also look at it this way. You know, some coaches are more aggressive than others. They just want to take care of the football, have the ball on offense, and go at it that way. So a very interesting call, but he wants to take care of the ball himself. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down and about the length of the football. On third down, here's Bell. And the lane closes quickly for Bell, and he did not make it. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. They'll go for it with Bell. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. Le'Veon Bell stops short of the line to gain. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. They go with Howard again. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one 
as we get ready to start the final quarter. Running with Howard, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. On first down, they run with Howard. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. This is Jackson on the quick throw from Wentz. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The Eagles on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Working from the gun, Wentz. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. On first and 10, it's Sanders. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down, fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. On second down. It's Howard, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front, and it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon, and right now they're almost lifeless. An opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. On second down now, it's Howard. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Check 24. On the toss play, Howard. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Right at the 10-yard line. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Now wins. That's complete right around the 8. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. From 10 yards out, and the Eagles able to push further out in front. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? 
because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly